The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Money Masters. Let's go to Shivan in Boston. Shivan, what's happening, brother? I'm watching you both on Tiger TV. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, definitely it is. Learning a lot from Tiger. Now, your Money Masters, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. Welcome, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. Appreciate all you tigers and tigresses growling and prowling out here with us. Right now, we get the Dow down to 78. NASDAQ off 17. S&Ps are off 7.5. Uh, Gold is up $27 at 1667 You get silver up 90 cents at 30.54. Bonds, 22 ticks at 148.09. King dollar. Down 27 ticks at 81.47, and the euro is up 14 at 125.43. And I got my wish, man. I, you know, the dollar is under. Went down and tested that low. It tested that low, and what you have uh, is you have a very small price spread. That's exactly what it has to happen here. So, yeah. you know, we'll see whether it can hold that uh, 81.39. It, it did, it got down to 81.30. Reject it. We're at 8146. Um, you know, when I look at that and then I look at gold, it's telling me that, you know what, it's going to basically reject it. And, and why? Because, you know, what you had here, folks, depending what time you get up yes. or don't go to sleep, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, gold popped last night. Now, this gets really interesting because, well, to me it does. Uh, uh, you know, I, I just said to Steve, I says, you know, this is interesting. I says, you know, I get up, I'm looking at gold. He says, that's nothing. He says, you should have seen it at midnight, yeah. right? <laughs> well, okay. just the overall market. No, it's no, it's a total. That's right, the totally. whole thing in context. Had the, so, had the uh, currency so, move. Yeah. yeah, so gold, folks, okay, has uh, 88,000 contracts, okay? Now, the first thing that I always do in that market in particular is I go right to South Africa, okay? So I'm watching this. It's up, and South Africa's not moving. I'm saying yes. to myself, oh, this is a gaff. Yes, no yes, doubt, yes. okay? Because if you can get it up in, in, in the middle of the night, it's a gaff. Well, sh sure enough, and I'll tell you my, my take on this. This is, this is where, when you get distribution in the marketplace, if you look you at the, get the whole machine going. You get the machine you going, baby. Get machine you, going. you go look in the Wall Street Journal, and the second front page of the Wall Street Journal, the second section, what is it all about? It's about Pulse, and it's about Soros, it's about everyone buying gold. This is distribution in spades, folks. Big time, okay? Push it out to them, and you can tell by looking at the, the gold equities. They can't move. Yeah. Yeah. Push it out, baby. Yeah. Push that paper yeah. out. Well, you got gold up, as you said, uh, what, 26 bucks? Yeah. And, and, and what are the stronger equities? What is uh, one of the stronger equities doing there? AEM, mm -hmm. basically flat? It's, and I mean, because that had one it, heck of a nice it, uh, It's in the red now. It's, it's in the red. It. You know, if we even look at uh, GOLD, uh, it's only at 100 bucks. Okay, it's up 2 bucks. That's going to give it up. That's, that's into a gap. This is pure distribution, man. This is, this is the ultimate, folks, of how large operators move out yeah, because they, they, the bottom line is that they double down. That's what's, that's what, you know what cracks me up? We talked about this. These numbers, folks, that they're talking about in the Wall Street Journal came out a week and a half or two weeks ago, and all of a sudden... Uh, is, is that were in the minutes, the, the FOMC minutes? That we... No, 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 no. Oh. No, they, they, what they were talking about, they were talking about the 13F filings. That, oh, 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 okay, got If, if you're, got if you're okay, smart, you're going to be yeah, yeah, buying yeah, gold right, hand right. over fist right now. Yeah. Forget it, man. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. You know, so... Uh, Europe. Let's go to the the, the, da the, the DAX. DAX the uh, and the, the DAX is given up. The FTSE looks oh, like an ABC down. Yeah, the, the DAX down now a little over one percent. So down uh, 70, uh, 82 points, eighty three points right now. What happened, man? The, I thought it was a bull market. <laughs> it is. Oh, bull market in the and dollar the, and the inverse ETFs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Uh, uh, I'm telling you, man. Let's take a look at some of the uh, high volume stocks in a low volume market. Well, it's going to be interesting today to see can the um, the market itself uh, get any traction on the way down. You know, right? It's, it's not going to need much, but we'll see whether they get it. Uh, Hewitt Packet uh, in tough shape, man. Big yeah. time. Yeah. Down a buck and a buck twenty five. We were talking about that yesterday. That's that's got problems. Big Lots got some real problems. Oh, they do. They do. What's you know, what's actually what's kind of cool uh, as far as uh, Big Lots is concerned, you know, I pulled that up. We were taking a look at the daily, and Larry had gone ahead and punched into the dent. He visually took a look at the weekly chart, and he's like, oh, yeah. look at that nice three drive to a top pattern. Right. And really on the wow. weekly chart, you know, just a, a great uh, pattern out there. And then gave you the candle signal, too, as it completed it. 
So it was just everything that you needed. On the daily chart, it gave you all kinds of uh, uh, all kinds of indications that you needed to be out of the equity as well. What a mess! Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So uh, you know. Yeah, big lot. Big lots is uh, off. Uh, what else is uh, off here this morning? You've got uh, Guess. Guess is down 18 percent. Um, it are, is. Those are the two biggest ones. Yeah, really? Yes. Yeah. Hey, Boeing. Now this is going to get interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was looking at Boeing this morning, folks, and and uh, Boeing, okay, has some big problems. It's down a buck 84. But watch this when you bring it up. This is. I heard. I heard. Uh, it was Mario Gabelli yesterday. He was on CNBC. Okay. He was ex explaining that Boeing would be such a great buy. And his thesis, I, I like this thesis, you know what I mean? Yeah. He was explaining that, you know, across the world, you know, China's going to build more airports and all of this. Yeah, and he's a big value investor, yeah. right. folks. You know, you know buy, he is a buy right. and hold. Right. No, no, big time. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, I was listening to him. I said, ah, I like that story. Yeah. And and I hadn't looked at the Boeing chart, but then, you know, I, I came in and looked at the Boeing chart. I said, hold it, man. I said, Boeing hasn't moved. So if you want to see something that's just amazing, folks, okay, and this is where you better pay attention to, you know, everything here. Yes. Well, Boeing hasn't moved. I can bring this back to, to 2000. It's the same level as 2000. Yeah. yeah now, yeah. check this out. So this is what ends up happening. So that was yesterday. Yes. What ended up happening after the close last night is that Qantas come out and canceled um, okay. 35 Dreamliners. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, check this out. And, and folks, this is important to understand. And this is what it is. So this is really cool because this morning I'm here in the, on the financial press, right? And yes. they're saying it gets canceled, but they're not saying what the ramifications are. Okay. So check this out. Okay. Let's picture that you and I, picture all you folks out there, all you tigers and tigresses, listen, picture that we own Qantas right now. So picture for the last 17 years, we've made money. Yes. This is the first year we lost money. Oh, okay. Now, okay. now we had sold, we had bought a contract, and the contract was to buy 35 Seven eighty-seven point nine okay. Dreamliners. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. We had given them one hundred and thirty-five million as a deposit. Uh, okay, okay. For this, well, what ended up happening, folks? And this has been news for a long time. Boeing is late on all these deliveries. Well, what ends up happening inside our Does that contract? Break that contract. Listen, inside our contract, <laughs> it gets better. That if the delivery wasn't there, we have they the right to cancel. Yeah. You right to cancel plus another three hundred million. No. So Qantas. No, no, no. no. Qantas, so economically, it was a great deal for them. Qantas to cancel, huh? just hit the jackpot this morning. Okay, they get four hundred and thirty-three million bucks from Qantas. Yeah. Back We're gonna have cash. a good day today, oh. folks. All you tigers and tigers, you get a good day today. You get a half, almost a half billion dollars. Off Boeing wow. because it didn't wow. get delivered, and thank God because they didn't get delivered at the right time. How about that? That's intense. Yeah, that's... Now, now, okay. So now, first, first look at the chart. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it's right in the chart. I mean, this thing is screaming. I mean, and it's screaming that you know what? Guess what? Qantas says a high volume low. It was two of them. <laughs> the, the first, the first one's at fifty six dollars. Yes. The yes, second yes, one, yes, folks, yes. is out there at thirty eight dollars. Yeah. Well, guess what? Now let's picture that we own other airlines. Yes. Those executives are sitting there this morning so like, yeah, go go through your contract. Oh, <laughs> you bet. like go let's through go, that, go bet. through that go contract. Find, go find that clause. A half billion know. dollars ASAP. That's as good as you get. Yeah. They they're gonna have oh, some big problems, man. Man, oh man. Isn't that a trip? That, that, yeah. That's a heck of a uh, that's oh. a heck of a deal. Oh my God, that's found money. Yeah, that's found money. Yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting because the the only the headline that I saw just said they just canceled the order. No, no, I, I, I didn't listen, see anything given in the I, first the first paragraph. I didn't see anything more. That was all all that I saw out there. So that's nice, well, nice nugget. You, well, you know what ends up happening is that you know I folks I go back and forth. I've had this Bloomberg for. 14, 15 years, but I mean, it's so expensive, it's insane. Yes. So, I, Steve knows, I go back and forth every month. Yeah, I want to keep it, I want to throw it away. Bottom line, that's when I want to no, keep it. Because oh, I was out there this morning, yeah. and what happens with the folks is this, is that I've had it so, there's a lot of things right at your fingertips, you can grab them pretty quick. Oh, you can. And that's, you know, I turned around and said, okay, and when I saw on the way to work, I said, well, that's why I do keep it. No, you know no, no, I mean? no, 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 the functionality of the information yeah. that you've got is, it's, so powerful. Yeah, no, no, there, there's no so, doubt. So there's powerful. no doubt, and it's like you know, unreal. But that's <laughs> what a <laughs> what a contract. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. That's, now, I, I wonder if they could have just walked away from the you know if 
if Boeing had been on time, was there any other penalty? Do you, I mean, not you know, just kind of. I don't. I. I yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You know? So. So pretty. If they, if they were, pretty, pretty if they, I, I suspect that if you had a penalty like that, if they were on time, man, they were going to be in trouble because yeah. they, they had to take delivery. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. I couldn't picture just one so one-sided. Yeah. You know, but that's pretty intense, man. No doubt. Have you ever flown Qantas? I haven't. Yeah. You know, because I've never I, been I to Australia, yeah, and that's it, it, it. Is always it always had a, a great name. What a, what a business, the airline business. You know, what a tough business. Oh man, that's one business. I'd, <laughs> I love selling the tickets. Oh, there's only one thing worse than a restaurant business. Hey, listen, it's an airline. It's owning an oh, airline. I, huh? I, 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 well, I don't know. I, I like the restaurant business, but I even you talk about disruptive technology. I, I had the disruptive technology for the airlines. Yes, you did. I said, oh, you did. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I, I was yeah, in the you, middle of that, so I, right. I saw that happen. I'm saying to myself, they're out of their minds. Yeah. But you know what that was? What that was about too is that that yeah, was, was supply demand, and, and that was a model drive, trying to drive revenue, and it was a model that you know couldn't sustain itself because they were ripping everyone off. Yeah. Uh, I mean that's. You know, I'm talking about the 80s, folks. What ended up happening, I mean, it would cost you $900 to go from Boston or New York to the L.A. Yeah. It's like, what are you, crazy, man? You know? And then, because they were all fat and happy, they never really did real business. Yeah. You know? Didn't cost that much with Tommy tickets. No. <laughs> no. Sometimes it didn't cost anything. <laughs> Sometimes. You know what I did? You know what I, you know what I did once? I, this, this, this was wild. What had happened, folks... Is that there was there was a deal? This is this is a great deal too. This is insane. There was a deal that if you actually flew flew five flights on American Airlines, you get a first class ticket. Um, and I paid people across the country flying. Yeah, yeah. And just got hundreds of first class tickets. Yeah. You know, so it was. It was Boy, the, the old days flying first class. That was nice. Oh, that was. You man. know that, that, that was. was. Bring out the caviar. Give me some oh, nice cold you, vodka. You know, t- t- put my feet up. It oh, was. Totally. It was great. You know, how, folks. How cra- now? Listen, listen. How with the type of waste that was in the airlines when I was in the Marines. So this is 1969 and 60. It would have been 69. I was in at 68, but this had just happened in 69. Yeah. So I'm I'm stationed at headquarters Marine Corps in Quantico. Yeah. Okay. I'm going home to Boston. So check this out. They had uh, a, a plane that went from uh, Washington D.C. to Boston, right? Yes. Do you know what it was? It was a 747. Man. It's okay. They, they flew <laughs> that's, a seven. That's, that's pretty amazing. They, they flew. Well, that's what gas didn't cost anything. No, they, you know, they flew a 747. Of, yeah. And because I was in the service, right? Yeah. They let me in first class. So picture this. I'm 18 years old. And in first class, folks, at that point, right, if you've ever been in 747s, you go upstairs and they had this piano bar. Oh, so you'd have a piano bar. Yeah. I'm sitting there. I'm 18. I don't even supposed to drink to 21. I'm, they're giving me beers. I'm drinking beers. I'm listening to the piano. <laughs> this is what I think about. This. You're talking about hey, a, I used to get dressed a, up to go. It was like going to a fine dining restaurant. Oh, it was. You know, it was no, no, totally. <laughs> Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, you stay right there, folks. They're coming right back. Kate Stalter's exciting newsletter, Low Priced Leaders, has just launched, and now is a great time to get a two-week free trial. Every Wednesday afternoon, Kate sends out her weekly newsletter to her subscribers where she focuses on small-cap stocks with market caps under $2 billion, as well as low-priced equities with share prices ranging from $5 to $12. Kate tracks a variety of stocks with a combination of strong technical support and solid fundamentals. Many of the stocks featured will be recent IPOs. These new Newer issues are often some of the biggest price gainers in the market and provide an excellent opportunity for substantial gains if timed correctly. You can catch Kate Stalter live on Tiger TV with her small cap roundup every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and visit TFNN.com right now to get your two-week free trial to her brand new newsletter, Low Priced Leaders, while locking in the low introductory monthly rate of only $37.50 per month, almost a 50% discount. Act now. 
With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, Kate Stalter, David White, Larry Pesamento, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Millionaires are made every day. The fact is, living your dreams is possible. Someone, somewhere is going to get rich. My recommendation is, let that be you. Each day, someone is making the decision to better themselves and creating a plan to fulfill their financial dreams. Let that be you. The key to turning dreams into reality is to take massive action. Let that be you. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Master Show with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN. And I can help you with your journey to great wealth. I'll show you how to create the ultimate financial edge, a set of tools, insights, and strategies that are part of my daily newsletter service, Mastering Probability. You'll have direct access to me by phone, email, and my private library of trading and investing secrets for 30 days with an unconditional money-back guarantee. I'll take your trading to the next level. Click on my name, Steve Rhodes, on the homepage of TFNN.com and turn your dreams into reality. Mastering Probability, folks. Let that be you. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Let's take a look at this one. So U.S. housing prices jumped 1.8% in the second quarter from the previous three months, fueled by record low mortgage rates, tight inventory, according to FHA. And, uh, folks, uh, if you do have an interest in uh, real estate, uh, we have a, a real estate fund. If you're an accredited investor, we actually get the, the website up now. Got yeah, folks should go over to the night. website and, and check it out. So you can go to TFNN, and on the right-hand side, folks, you'll see the banner. You'll see the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund. You can hit that banner, and uh, it'll walk you through uh, exactly what we're doing down here in beautiful uh, Florida. Yeah, now, folks, you, they can join you. Tonight, can they? Can they? Uh, yeah, you can. I'm. I, I'm going to be. If you happen to be in the Longbow Key or in the Sarasota area, I'm going to be down there tonight giving a presentation. That's going to be uh, at six o'clock. Okay. Longbow Key. Okay. Oh. I know it's beautiful. It's going to be tough to get get back in the car and come home. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt about that, man. So let's see. I mean, you know, what happened here? I, 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 I you know, I, I see all the bulls out here, but it's all red. I, are the bulls in hide this morning? Gold. I think the <laughs> bulls gold. might be in hide. The bulls are in gold and silver. It seems like the only, the only time I hear about the bulls is that when the market keeps going up. And they peek their heads out and say, oh, what happened to all those beers? Where are the bulls now? Where are those, those haunts? Let me, let me find those haunts. <laughs> okay, so let, let's see what we got here. You got, uh, we got any, uh, let's see if we get any juice on the way down. Let's see. Yeah. Uh. 
No, nah, no juice. No, no juice, juice yet. No juice yet. We only get a billion <laughs> cheers, so folks. Time. And a billion cheers is nothing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, let's see. So the SPY, you get 27 million. That's a lot. Now, 27 million is a lot because it hit high with 100 million. That's, if that keeps up, that's going to get interesting. Uh, let me see the three Qs. Now, what you'd like to see on the, uh, at least what I'd like to see on the uh, SPY, I'd like to see it get below the April 2nd swing point out there, which has got a little ways to go. That's 140.36. Okay. I'd like to just see it clear that swing point. 140.36. Which goes all the way back to April 2nd. April 2nd. April 2nd. Where are we? You probably got to go back for it. Right there. Right but the next one, right? Yeah. That's the Just that swing point, right? Is that... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah just, right. Just get back inside there. Uh, get, right. Get out. Underneath get, it. Get, get, get yeah, underneath. no doubt. Yep, get underneath. No doubt. It. Yeah. Yeah. I could, there's this, because that's a lower, you, you want to get in the lower range. Yeah, right. You know, this is going to be interesting, though. We, what we did have yesterday, you had an expansion of volume on the way down. You know, uh, you hit a hit high on Tuesday with 105 million. You hit a low, low at 133 million yesterday. Well, so it's going to be, uh, you know, I want to see the NDX, because did you see what, what you had out here this morning, folks, which I couldn't find inside the NDX this morning, um, the Qs were down big. And oh, okay. it's like, I, 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 I went to Apple, yeah. Apple wasn't down, Google wasn't down, but I, I can see it now, okay, it was Dell, Intuit, uh, SanDisk, and... Um, uh, Seagate Technology, that's what was taken itself. Well, I mean, then you also had the movers. There was nothing big weighted to the upside in there. Either. Yeah, n exactly. Okay, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. It, it was harder to find out, like, mm -hmm. whoa, what's taking us down? Let's go to Eric in Knoxville, Tennessee. Hey, Eric, what's going on? Hey, guys, how you doing? We're doing great, man. You having a good day out there? I am. Fantastic. Thank you. Cool, man. Hey, I, I just got back from Siesta Key. I, uh, my mom has a place down there, and I spend a lot of time down there, which is, you know, just um, just south of... Uh, yeah, Boston. well, I, listen, I know it well. <laughs> oh, good, good. Yeah, I, I really en I enjoyed that. So I uh, got some fishing in on the other coast. My brother lives in Palm Beach, so... Oh, anyway, you, had the, the best of, you had the well, best yeah. of all worlds. So what would you catch? You know, we were catching amberjack. Um, yeah. The fishing was a little slow, and of course, the day I left and went back to Sarasota, he caught all the dolphins. So, you know, <laughs> that's the way it works. And the dolphin he's talking about, folks, are actually mahi mahi. We call them dolphin down there. It's not like flipper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be doing Bambi, you know. No, no. Listen, I, you know it's so funny. I remember the first time I went back up to Boston, and I'm saying to my some of my friends, "Man, oh man, we had caught so many dolphin. They tasted so good." I I see these <laughs> eyes oh, looking at me like, dumb "Tom, dumb. Tom, what what happened to you, man?" <laughs> <laughs> He works your heart. No, he totally. Let me tell you. You know, it's like no, no. They're, they're, we call them dolphin down here. They're mahi mahi anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And exactly. they're beautiful fish, boy. By the way, folks, when you catch them, they and just you know, light up. Yeah. Yeah, they are. It's unbelievable how beautiful they are. And you know, it's so neat over on the other coast. Is, I mean, you get a couple miles out and you're in a thousand foot of water. It, you know, you I know, man. It, it, there's a, what happens, folks? What he's talking about is that when you go off Palm Beach, you, you go off Fort Lauderdale. It's literally a mile out. It just drops down. And in the Gulf, where we are, you got to go out 30 miles. You stay right there, Eric, okay? okay. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, all these Tigers and Tigresses. We get the dial right now down uh, 80. NASDAQ off uh, 18. S&Ps are off 8. Gold's up 31. Silver's up a buck. We're going to right back, folks. Tom O'Brien's daily trading newsletter, Market Insights, has delivered powerful results for subscribers, and now is the perfect time to try it out for two weeks absolutely free. We're so confident in the value Tom provides his subscribers in his daily newsletter that through Labor Day weekend only, when you sign up for a two-week free trial to Market Insights, we'll send you a free copy of Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system, completely free of charge, will even cover the shipping cost. Cancel at any time during your two-week free 
free trial to Market Insights and pay nothing and keep Tom's free book as a gift from us. This offer is only valid for new subscribers. We've only extended this offer once before, and it will only be active for a short period of two weeks. So act now to take advantage of this great offer and be ready to capitalize on a more active, more volatile market once traders return from their August vacations. All the details are on the front page of TFNN.com. Sign up for your free trial to get your free copy of Tom's best-selling book today. If you're an investor looking for a great weekly investment newsletter, then now is the perfect time to try out Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Every Tuesday, Ken breaks down multiple sectors in his weekly newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, with a full in-depth report including specific trading recommendations within his model portfolio, charts, sector analysis, upcoming economic data, along with intra-week trading updates on newsletter positions whenever the market dictates. Right now, you can receive a full month, that's 30 days, to evaluate Ken's newsletter free of charge to see if it fits your trading plan. At less than $75 per month, Ken provides you with his expert trading advice that can pay for itself in no time. Take advantage of this great offer by signing up for a 30-day free trial to Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks today. Don't let this offer pass you by. Visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up now. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC. Member SIPC. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien. We're talking with uh, Eric from uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. So you, had a, so you had the best of both worlds. You're down Siesta Key. You get over to Palm Beach. You're going Absolutely. back to Knoxville. You're in good, you're in good yeah. shape, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's a good way to go for sure. I really am enjoying it. So, and 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 I'm you know I trade for a living, so you know I can kind of do that from anywhere. So it's it's nice, sweet. But um, real quick, just a, a, a neat story. I got a brother that lives up in Ohio who does um, buys houses and flips them. Okay. And of course, he's in the Cleveland area, and you know, I mean, he's he goes with a very inexpensive house. They're just trying to get rid of stuff, so he's buying stuff for three to five thousand dollars. You know, houses. Which Holy is cow. Crazy. That's... But just to give you the, the great contrarian indicator, he's got a little seminar that a guy's doing there, and it's a realistic one. You know, it's 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 about education, not a whole lot of hype. Yeah. So he he got a couple of tickets, and he cannot get anyone to go with him for free. Okay. And and I'm like, boy, that's all I need to hear is the great indicator. When no one, <laughs> everyone hates real estate, right? Yeah. No. No. No he doubt. Can't even get, 
Yeah, so I just thought that was an interesting thing. Uh, as you talk about real estate, I know it's a whole different world down in Florida, but you know, here's my brother just trying to get someone to go with a, get a little education. Yeah, and yeah. Everyone hey, you know what? No, no. What? It's the exact same thing even here in Florida, Eric. I have I have friends. Okay, so picture this, right? I have friends that. Bottom line, they, you know, they got hurt. I mean, there's a lot of people got hurt, so oh, you can I, so you no, can no. see why people just you know don't want nothing to do with it, right? Mm -hmm. But picture this: right on their same street, they can see that you can buy them at fifty cents on the dollar. They can see that you can either rent them or you can turn them and make thirty or thirty-five percent, like within three to three and a half months, and they're still scared. You know, so, yeah. but that's, that's, that's what does happen, and I've seen it happen before, but that's just, that's just how it goes, you know, but. It, it is, yeah, so I, I go to auctions here in Knoxville. Now, we didn't really get the huge boom, and we've not gotten the huge bust, but I can't believe, I mean, the, the, the bottom's in here. I mean, the auctions. Yeah, the, bo the bottom's I, in I, here, too. What, what's intriguing yeah. about where we are is this, is that, like, right now in Florida, there's 25,000 foreclosures and California is forty-two thousand. Well, the dynamic has changed dramatically because what you what you had. Uh, we only have like nineteen million people. They have about thirty-seven million people. But what has happened? What has already happened, folks, in the country is this: the two epicenters were Arizona and Nevada, yeah. and they're already back. Yeah. They're 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 Florida's ahead of them. So you know that's going to be gone too. I mean, it's just like anything yeah. else. You don't. These things aren't going to stay out there. Do you know what I mean? So. Um, and yet that South Florida, like on the other coast, South, forget it. I mean, that you had an opportunity, but it's booming now. Yes. Well, here, listen to this, though. Oh, this is cool. I am so... Okay, now, folks, let me tell you something. I'm going to give you something right now. We give you a lot of TFNN, but I'm going to give you something right now that is worth a fortune. Okay. Between Donald Trump and the the press, okay... The uh, the mantra is exactly what you said, okay? And, you know, I was looking at this. I'm saying to myself, okay, man, you know, this is interesting. You know, I know the Brazilian money's coming in and all that. Well, you know what? The bottom line is, is that, and this is what happens in Florida. What happens in Florida is there's a couple of different markets. There's the market that people live here. There's a market that people will get off the plane and buy it, right? Well, let me tell you something. In Miami and Dade County, okay, you can still get deals Hand over fist. Hand over fist. Okay? Um, I, can, I can break the actual streets down for you, right? So what ends up happening is this, is that you'll get someone that's coming off the plane, they'll buy something for, uh, let's say, 300 right? Yeah. Well, the bottom line is that you can pick that up for 210 Okay? So they've done a great job on the PR in that, in that aspect. And, it, it, and that has come back, and it's a different deal, but... The deals are still there in an extraordinary way. Isn't that isn't that wild? Interesting. I, I know. Yeah. I know, man. I, and and it, it, it's 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 unbelievable. Yeah. You know, it really well, is. That's why, I, that's why I'm always listening to TN, TFNN. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks, you know, man. I, I know it's a little divergence from stocks, but hey, if you can make money, it's investments. Oh, let, hey, let me, let hey, me, it's it's a trade. Let me tell you something. Yeah. If you if you walked in our office, we get a big office. There's there's three folks that that's all they're doing 24 hours a day right now is real estate. So it's it's wow. not wow. yeah. <laughs> We're into it in a big way, not in a small way, man. Well, Cooking next brother, time I'm down. I might take a trip up to Tampa and come and see you guys. Yeah, so. do that'd that. be perfect. Have a great all one, right, man. Cool. Have a safe Thanks, one. Guys. Isn't right. that wild about Miami though? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the 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 thing that's intriguing about that, folks. So picture something, you know, we're not that far away from the engine and I, we go over there, you know, en enough, because we, we like it over there. But I cracked up, you know, I'm saying to myself, you can see how they, they're moving, there's no doubt. And then I, all of a sudden I start looking at the courthouses as, as where they're coming in, and I says, oh man, this is like intense. Yeah. And there's still, there's still plenty of people even from Marcos that are going over there, they're taking them, and you know, bot bottom line is that, yeah, it'll all come back, And they, but the other side of it, that there are still deals and... In a huge way. Yes. Yes. You know. Let's get a Mark in Concord. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Not much, guys. How are you two? How you been, man? We're fine. Enjoying this beautiful weather up here. Oh, good. I wish I could put this weather in a bottle and save it for January. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't. The bottle is just, you got to open the bottle up down here in Kiowa. Yeah, are. totally. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, I want your reaction to a comment I heard on CNBC last week from one of these talking heads. Um, 
financial money managers about Apple. His prediction was Apple was going to go to 900, and his philosophy or reason behind it was that, and I'll quote him the best I can, was that a lot of money managers have not yet bought into Apple. They will have to capitulate and eventually buy into Apple, and that will drive the price to 900. Now, that's a direct quote, but the best I could remember it. Can you both comment on that? Yeah, I, well, I, I, I see, I, I don't buy the, the, the mantra, period, that money managers have to do anything. <laughs> I hear this all the time. I've heard it for, you know, 25 years. Um, you know, that to me just, that's not how it works, man. They, they, they're in or they're not in, you know. Um, you know, do they window dress once in a while? Yeah, they do. But I, you know, that, that doesn't say a lot to me at all. Yeah. yeah, well, Steve, what's your comment to that? Uh, well, I mean, I think you just simply go to the facts. Go take a look at the big money, and you'll see that it's, uh, you know, in in Apple. I mean, you got uh, BlackRock has a uh, 5%. Uh, Fidelity's got about 5%. Vanguard's got about 4%. I mean, you know, the, there there is a lot of big money already there. And you start taking, take the number of shares. Fidelity's got 44 million shares times... And they're uh, selling. Yeah, times uh, 665 bucks. You do the math on that. Right, so exactly. I, I'm not really sure where somebody makes a comment that the uh, you know the money's you know the big money's not in there. It is. Yeah, and, 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 has been. and in fact, you can make you can in, in Fidelity's case, which is the biggest holder. Well, guess what? At their last filing, they're selling. Exactly. Yeah. Well, so well, isn't Invesco. So right. isn't uh, Capital World. Now Capital World, that's America Funds. Capital Research. They're selling big. That's two different ones. That's they sold 8.4 million shares. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I just, I just think you know, Mark. It's always best to, uh, you know, like, like. I don't own Apple. I have no position either yeah. long or short no. Apple. I, you know, I, I, I guess I'm, I'm one of those people who wish they bought it at 300 and put it away. But you know, that, that, that's 300. Hey, oh, how, how, 75, about, 75 how about 12 bucks? bucks? <laughs> 70, uh, 75, exactly. 75 yeah, dollars exactly. was the uh, was the Gartley buy. Yeah, so, so I mean, <laughs> hey, on a different subject. So tell me, who's going to win this lobster bet between you and, um, is it Olga? Who's your, who's the girl oh, who's been calling, who, who's the girl who's been calling you on Monday? Well, I, I, th I think, I, I believe that Ilka already won because it, it got over the highs, okay? So yeah. she already won a lobster off us, and now as it goes down to the lows, she's going to buy us a pizza. <laughs> well, and, and uh, Ilka was the one that called the top of the market. Yeah, it was it was her call. You're that, gonna uh, you're gonna have to make her a special guest every uh, uh, Monday at the uh, show, Tom. Uh, uh, make her a what? Special guest every Monday. Uh, you know, just like you have uh, Larry Pezzavento on your four o'clock show two, twice a week. Uh, you know, you like to have her on once to once or twice only, a week. On the not, show. Only when we need to call a market top. <laughs> <laughs> I can see her right now. She's going off the wall. She's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna reach through the phone. She's gonna grab no, Steve no, Rhodes. No, she's gonna no, shake him no, up. No, 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 no. Oh yes, she is. <laughs> she's definitely gonna shake you no, up. True. You think well, you can get away with that? Just, I was pointing out a fact. That's oh, you odd. better watch out. You better watch out. I'm telling you. We love I'm sitting here listening to her, and I said, "Oh, this is this is interesting." She's uh, she we we got a bull and bear challenge going on here. Oh no 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 no. Hey, there's two sides to every market now. now now, Mark, the time to have bought Apple was when it made this uh, Gartley buy pattern in uh, January that. 2009. That's sick. And that 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 right there was your uh, that was your opportunity to get in. It was beauty. It was you guys beauty. don't think it's going down to the low 500s? I, I don't have a price target on, uh, on. You don't have a price target. Yeah, I don't really have a price target on Apple. I mean, you know, if it if it if it really cracked. Hundred ninety bucks. The, the way I can tell you, I, I can tell you the way I, the way I trade Apple is that when it, when it got to that uh, you know the the butterfly, okay, the bottom line went shot the NDX, you know, because I don't care about Apple, you know, I, but what I do care is that then my bet is spread out much hot, longer. You, you see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like you know why get myself in the middle of something like an Apple, but inside the NDX, yeah, I can get my head wrapped around that in a heartbeat, man. All right, cook it, guys. Cook it. Hey, you two take care. Have a good one. Have a you great bet, one, man. Absolutely. Have a safe okay, one. Okay, ciao. You bet. So, uh, the DAX. Is the, is the DAX still... Uh, yeah, you get the uh, DAX right now is uh, off uh, about 70, uh, 65 points. Okay, so, yeah. you know, the Euro's trying to make a... Uh, trying to bust out. I mean, that's what they're trying to do out there. 
uh, they want to say they're trying to. That's what the euro is trying to do. If we take a look at the uh, DAX, still, you know, it's off of its session lows, which was been, which was 69.23 uh, to 69.48. So it's it's still struggling. I don't have the volume on it, unfortunately, but uh, uh, you know, it's 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 got some. You know, it, it's gone back and it tested the uh, swing point out there from March 27th. Right. Couldn't couldn't get all the way up to the uh, top out there from uh, March the 16th. That's what it was trying to get to. And, uh, you know, I, I take a look at when it, when it's, there was synergy just simply across the markets. When you took a look at oh, all yeah. our indexes, right. you know, you took a look at uh, what the uh, DAX was doing. Right. And uh, yesterday's action gave a, uh, you know, gave a real bear signal on the DAX. Today's just follow through. So, you know, well, we'll it, see it, what happens in the next uh, 45 minutes. Yeah, particularly what you had is that, uh, you know, when the Fed minutes come out, it, it's like, you know, the, there was a lot of hope inside that. But what, what I thought was really wild, and this is where... You always want to pay attention to what does a word mean, and that many, yeah, that, yeah, you know, yeah, many. Like, okay, what is many inside that? That, that was an unusual comment, folks. And uh, this morning, if you heard uh, the uh, Fed governor on CNBC, <laughs> he was putting his quash on all of it. It was really wild because he he actually said that they were stale three weeks ago. Those those minutes were stale. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, because it got new information, uh, it, right? Yeah, you know, both. Yeah, it, yeah, it was new information that you know I mean, what the unemployment came down slightly, uh, the retail sales went up, um, you know, and so it was intriguing listening to him yeah. as to what he expects would happen. Now, one of the biggest things I think he said, I actually had brought this up yesterday, is, is that yeah, if there's a QE three. But what is a three QE three going to be? And he specifically said, you know, people, uh, the markets are looking at QE threes. Is what they not understanding is it may not be the same QE three as, as okay. one or two. Yes, 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 yes. You know, so. You know, right now, the QE three is buy euros. <laughs> that's right. Which which the, you should have been I mean, on there and asked them that. See that that would have that would have been a good one. There's no doubt about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, uh, seriously. No, yeah, I, like, no I, I think I think yeah. the, I think you know what what we are seeing. Well, well, number one, first, you know, made the, when we take a look at the euro, what it did do was it made that uh, butterfly pattern. So it made nice you know, two one point six eight butterflies. Right. And when you take a look at where they're supposed to retrace to, we're supposed to retrace back the point six one eight or seven eight six level. And that's what the that's what the euro is trying to do. You know, it's really trying to get and punch up into this point seven eight six levels. You know, it's up against some pretty strong uh, resistance here right now. So. Technically speaking, I right, listen, man. We'll, I, we'll I sold it this morning, so <laughs> we'll and see then, where this goes. <laughs> uh, we take a look at some of the oil stocks out here. You get Exxon Mobil down forty cents. Coke's, uh, well, the Coke, uh, that's not here. Wrong screen. There we go. Okay, you get Chevron at fifty-seven. Oxy's down a dollar seven. Uh, the financials, uh, J.P. Morgan's off 25. There's not much happening there. No, that's, that's, uh, materials no. are getting hit. I mean, there was a big, there was a big article today in the uh, journal, BHP Bulletin. Uh, bottom line, they're, they're pulling back on a five billion dollar deal in Australia. Okay. And it, the it was interesting. One of the prime ministers of Australia basically said flat out that that is the end of the commodity boom in Australia. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you see, well, because what you have is that you, you have the... It's our economy. You, it's, it absolutely it's is. Big... And, and you have the aspect that, that China is buying less. And they're going to have to, you know, I, I, they're going to have to fill up what they have going right now. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the reality. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, and China's struggling. And it's what it shows up in the charts. Yeah. You know, the charts the chart show that as well. Oh, man. China, folks, let me tell you something. That... that the Shanghai market is a disaster. Yeah, I mean, it really is. It's it's like it's all. The thing is amazing too is that you are, know, they, are they buying your bonds? Are they going to uh, get Larry out in the boat? Oh, they're buying bonds, man. They love bonds. Larry, you know what we just did? Actually, you know, right down at the dock right now, the painters are down at the dock putting Larry's initials oh, on. Oh, there. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, okay. putting out his initials right on that Ex boat. Excellent. I love it. Steve Rose, Tom O'Brien, all you Tigers and Tigresses, you stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming right back.
Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND-dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter the gold report with over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week in addition to covering the xau hui gld and dollar the gold report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market for your 30-day free trial to tom o'brien's gold report log on to tfnn.com today don't miss out on this great offer act now David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Time is the great equalizer of all mankind. Time doesn't care about winners or losers, who succeeds or fails. Time only cares that you played the game. Question, are you playing the money game? Is your money working as hard for you as you are for it? I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, a daily trading and investment newsletter service, and we're celebrating our one-year anniversary. In year one, we generated a 30% profit. Plus, I provided 26 hours of live coaching to my clients. My daily newsletter service is available by 8 a.m. each day and covers the stock, futures, currency, and commodity markets, along with all the current patterns that you can trade. Each newsletter is packed with education, and it's yours for as little as $3 per day. And for the next 30 days, you can try it risk-free. Click on my name, Steve Rhodes, on the homepage of TFNN.com and begin your journey to great wealth today. If you're waiting for a better tomorrow, remember this. Today's tomorrow will soon be yesterday, and your clock is ticking. Mastering Probability. Now is your time. Catch Kate Stalter on the Small Cap Roundup, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11 a.m. Eastern. Up next on TFNN. <laughs> Roach, Tom O'Brien, appreciate you. Tigers and Tigers are growling and prowling out here with us. Right now, you get uh, Boeing down a buck seventy-five. Caterpillar's off eighty-six. We get uh, IBM off thirty-nine. Merck is flat. Ma Bell is up uh, thirty-two cents. We have Microsoft down thirty. And uh, oh, H A I N. This is a real breakout. That, yeah. Did, did you oh, see that? Oh yeah, absolutely. That's, yeah. that's a nice little uh, deal. Uh, H A. H A I N. Yeah, they're the, in the uh, distribution, in the food distribution business. Organic yeah, I think food products. Yeah, and, uh, and, and you know, th this is an equity, folks. It's up ten bucks right now, but this is an equity. When you take a look at it, it had volume all the way up. I mean, it it had real juice. Yeah. Build the base, breaks out of the base with juice, does it again. Now it does it again. 
It's yeah. a monster ABC up. Yeah, and actually on the weekly chart, just simply coming off to the bottom back in uh, March of '09 when it was at 11 bucks a share or yeah. what have you. I know it's 67 bucks right now. You know, it's already done a one to one point six one eight, but it's, it it's got more to go. Ooh. You know, the way it's coming, yeah, in, no, it's going to do one of your one to two A to B equal CDs out there. That's an implosion, though. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. I mean, no. that, that's that's what the chart's setting up. Yeah. You know, seventy eight wow. bucks. Yeah, and then and then perhaps look out. Intense, no doubt, no doubt. Yes. So the uh, the euro, right? I mean, it's interesting. So the the dollar hasn't moved much though. The DXU two. So if we look at this, it's I have back to go on, see. I have to go see what's going on, on with the yeah, yen back, here. Yeah, it's back too. under the swing low again. So that's eighty one thirty nine or eighty one twenty six. So that's 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 a heads up. You know, the no Japanese doubt. yen got whacked yesterday after the uh, FOMC uh, minutes were uh, were released, and so now there's not any there's not any. Uh, no, look at that. That's kind of nice, though, right? Yeah, well, it came back. It came back too quickly to the point seven eight six retracement. Okay. You know, of just simply its last move. So okay. it, uh, you know, now looks like the yen wants to get stronger. The dollar getting weaker. That's why I thought maybe we might see a little bit of offset here. But yeah, no, I'm with you. you right. Know, the way that it came back there, it's at least got to test uh, yesterday's low. But if you put this thing on the uh, just on a thirty minute chart. You know, after the release of the uh, right minutes, you just got whacked. As soon Look at as that the, thing. Just as soon as the well, it took a little while. It took about a half an hour. Yeah, and then bang. The weeklies don't look bad, though, right? I get this on the weekly. No, no, no. It's, no. Like, it's actually long term wise. It's, right. it's, it's the best. It is the best uh, reward to risk trade right. out there. Right. You know, on the uh, long term. Because uh, your first my, acceleration up from seventy five to seventy nine that was in November, right, of last year. Yeah. That was that was the beginning. You know, it comes back, test it once. And each one of these tests actually are higher lows now. Yeah. No, there's no question. Yeah. I, 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 from a from a long term standpoint, the uh, you know the the yen U S dollar uh, trade is a is a is a great long term trade. It, it really is. It's, yeah. it's one that's got the most potential upside, in my opinion. No, no I, I agree, man. Uh, I agree. You, you just go back and you take a look at the uh, monthly chart and everything that it tested, and so. Um, you just got to catch it right, though. Catch it right, baby. Yep. That's where it's at, catching it right. Listen, folks, don't forget, uh, Steve starts us off every business day, every trading day, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. We go live from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Today we, uh, we're going to be going from uh, beautiful Florida. We're going to be going to um, New Mexico. Kate Stalt is coming up with the small cap roundup. Then uh, Tucson, Arizona, Larry Pesavento with... Uh, his show, Daryl Martin, uh, Dallas, Texas, 1 to 2, Diagnostic Hour, back here. Uh, David White, 2 to 3, then out to California, Ken DeShreve, 3 to 4. Which is exact. We need we need to maybe get uh, some of those jets that uh, Qantas uh, Ooh. canceled. Ooh. <laughs> you, know what I, you know what I saw? I saw a, uh, um, a, a jet that uh, just skims the water, okay? And as it skims the water... It can go 85 miles an hour skimming the water, and it's kind of—you don't need a license for it. They, they're not out yet. They, they're going to come up pretty soon, though. <laughs> that sounds like an accident waiting to happen. Uh, I got uh, uh, no doubt. <laughs> you stay right there, folks. Uh, always remember: whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Kate's going to be coming right up with you. Take care, folks.